Lake City Olympic backers are in it for the long run and will push for the 2034 Winter Olympics if they cannot land the 2030 event. They really want the 2030 Winter Olympics and want taxpayers to foot the bill for an event that is still a decade away. When the Tokyo Japan Bid Committee went after the 2020 Summer Olympics about a decade ago, the committee never talked about the risks in undertaking the endeavor. They certainly did not foresee the coronavirus coming. Sports events globally have been impacted by the coronavirus. Getting an Olympics is a risky venture. The 1940 Winter Olympics was supposed to be staged in Sapporo, Japan, but a war broke out between China and Japan, and the 1940 Winter Games would eventually be placed outside of Munich, Germany. The Games never took place because of World War II. Salt Lake City business and political leaders are plowing ahead with the thought of capturing the hearts of the International Olympic Committee delegates who were awarded the Games. Sapporo, Japan is officially in the race for the 2030 Winter Olympics. There has been some talk that there might be some interest from people in Barcelona, Spain, who want to stage the Olympics. Then there is the man who got the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver. John Furlong is suggesting that Vancouver would be a perfect place for the International Olympic Committee's needs in 2030. Furlong's push includes an online poll, which came back with an answer that Furlong enjoyed. 68% of British Columbia residents thought the 2010 Vancouver Games was worth the money that was spent on the event. No mention, though, of how the Olympics did not lift Vancouver's image on the global stage. The race is on. The Olympics event is nothing more than fool's gold. I'm Evan Wiener.